What's going on guys, it's Cody. Welcome back to the Pacers Gaming Channel. In this one, we're gonna talk about something pretty simple, but at the same time, something you might not know in case you're new to 2K or just learning about the 2K League, and that's how to change camera angles in a few different game modes and what the pros play on for the most part. So I've already started a game. Let's jump right into it and I'll show you exactly where to go. When you start up a My Career game or a quick match game, all you need to do is press start and come down. This year it's at the bottom of the HUD in this menu. Click A or X on PS4 and then here you go. You can cycle through and look at quite a few different options. In my opinion, there's only one that you should be playing on. It's right here. It's the 2K view. You see there's 2K low, don't be confused by that. And there's another option here, broadcast, broadcast generic. Some people in old school basketball games uh, might have played on broadcast, but I'm telling you now, if you play on broadcast, today is the day you need to change. So you definitely want to put your view on 2K for all my career, all quick match games uh, in the park. I'll show you how to do that as well. And Pro-Am 100%. 2K view allows you to see the whole court. It gives you the best opportunity for all your dribble animations to read cuts, to read the defense and lurk steals and passing lanes on that end of the court. And this right here is what every single pro uses, to my knowledge, in the 2K League. And broadcast, it's, it's just tough to play like this. Look, you can't even see the basket right now in broadcast. So make sure, if you aren't already, go ahead and switch it to 2K as your default view in my career and all game modes. So another tip in regards to cameras in my career and Pro-Am, if you're grinding for badges or just trying to get through games quickly, I highly recommend turning this setting off. So go into your my career menu over to options, down to settings, scroll down. I turn off camera shake. I think I just like the game a lot more smooth. And then here we go, turn off action replays. You see I have it on never, but the default is either occasionally or often. That just takes up more time in your my career games if you're trying to get your badges quickly. So I highly recommend turning that setting off and putting it on never in the options menu. So if you loaded up 2K20 for the first time in the park and noticed that you're on a different camera view than you're used to, you're not crazy. For some reason this year in 2K20, it starts you off in broadcast view in the park. And again, that's not what you wanna be on if you wanna play at a competitive level. What you need to do is press right on your D-pad once you're into the game to pull up the camera options. You can see right now it says broadcast low, there's 2K, 2K low, broadcast, just like in my career in Pro-Am and in Rec. 2K view is the best. It gives you the highest vantage point. It allows you to see the court much better than any of the other options. So again, it's right on the D-pad and then switch camera views with left and right trigger. Super easy. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let us know what camera view you use. And if you prefer something other than 2K view, I'd love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And let us know what else you'd like to see in the comments below. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.